This is James from the Dev Genie Academy and welcome to the 3D Game Engine series, episode 4. And in this episode we're going to be looking at the Render Management class, so we can finally start getting objects rendered to the screen. So without further ado, let's begin. And in our core package, let's create a new class called Render Manager. In the Render Manager, we need to create a private final window manager, because we do need access to the window. And we need to make an empty constructor, so we don't want to pass any values into the constructor itself. And we just say window equals launcher dot get window. We'll also need a init method, which throws an exception as usual. We will need a render method, a clear method, which will have gl11 gl clear, which takes two masks, a gl color buffer bit, and a gl depth buffer bit. And we also need a cleanup method as well. So all in all, that's all we need right now for the render manager. We don't need anything else. So back in the core manager, let's create a new interface, which is going to be called iLogic. And in here, we can create a few methods. So we need a void init method, which again throws an exception. We need a void input. We need a void update and a void render and finally a void cleanup method. So in the engine manager we need to go back and in our input render and update we need to enter some of those i game logics. But first we need to make an instance of that i logic. So let's create a private i logic game logic and keep scrolling down and then in input we can do iLogic.input, or oh sorry, GameLogic.input. Before the window.update, we need to do GameLogic.render, and finally, in update, GameLogic.update. And we also need to do a GameLogic.cleanup as well. So back in test, let's make a test game and start using that iGameLogic. So create a new class called Test Game, and make it implement iLogic. And let's implement those extra methods. But first, let's make a private interaction. Let's make that equal to zero. A float color, which is equal to zero as well. A private final render manager, and which we will just call renderer. And a window as well. And a constructor, which will just make renderer equal a new render manager. And window, as usual, equals the launcher.getWindow. So in the init method, all we need to do is renderer.init. And in the update, we need to do if window is key pressed. And if the key up was pressed, we're going to make direction equal 1. Else, if the window key pressed is down, jlfw key down, direction is going to equal negative 1. If neither of those are the case, direction will then be equal to 0. In the update method, we make color plus equals direction, and we'll multiply that by 0.01. We also need to clamp color between 0 and 1, so if color is greater than 1, we make it equal 1, and if color is less than 0, we make color equal 0. Okay, and in the render method, if window is resized, we do gl11 gl viewport, we pass in 0, 0 for the x and y, we pass in the window.get width, the window.get height, and we also do set resized back to true. And window.set clear color is just the three color parameters and 0 for the alpha. And then for now, we'll just use renderer.clear. We will change that to update later on. And finally, we just do renderer.cleanup in that method. So back in the launcher, Let's get rid of that engine there, make that local. Let's make a private static test game and make game equal a new test game. And make sure we put engine manager back at the front there to make it local. And then we need to make a getter for the game itself. So back in the engine manager, we've missed something out there. In game logic, in the init, make sure you do game logic equals launcher.getGame. And all we need to do now is after window.init we can do game logic.init. 
And if we run that now, what we'll see is we've got the window rendered to the screen. But if we press the up arrow key, the screen grows from black to white. And if we press the down key, the screen goes from white to black. So we have got rendering working at the moment. And next week, what we'll be looking at is rendering a rectangle to the screen. So I hope you all enjoy. If you do have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. And I'll see you next week.